Have you ever wondered how many men lay their heads on the cold, hard ground at night, hearing and feeling the pangs of their hunger, sleeping with one eye open for fear someone may attack, stealing what few possessions they have to hold on to? There are an estimated 2,000 homeless people on any given night in Utah. 80% are 18 or older, 69% are male, 28% are veterans, not just statistics, but men who serve this country and her people. Many of these men are on the street because of their own choices in life. Entangled in webs of alcoholism or drug addiction, they one day find they've lost everything, including their hope. They become content living on the mercy of strangers. Others were working men, living paycheck to paycheck until they became casualties of cutbacks and poor economy, losing not only their jobs, but their food, their shelter, and often their dignity. What is there for these men to look forward to? What beacon of light can pierce through their darkness? The Salt Lake City Rescue Mission offers these men not only food and shelter, but rehabilitation, support, friendship, and hope. This is an account of men without homes, men who may be struggling, and the rescue mission that reaches out to them, not to support them in their defeats, but to assist them in regaining productive, peaceful lives. Established in 1972, the rescue mission of Salt Lake has been a light, a hope for the homeless of Northern Utah. In any given day, this rescue mission will serve two to 300 meals from their full service kitchen. 50 to 100 men will find a warm, comfortable night's sleep, and three days a week they can get a warm shower, change of clothing, and free toiletries. But as the director of the mission, Pat Hillaker, explains, the rescue mission of Salt Lake is much more than a typical homeless shelter. Uh, we, we come from a little different perspective than a lot of the, uh, the shelters around. We come from a spiritual perspective and our philosophy is that uh, if they will change on the inside then it'll be a change on the outside and that's we, we hold true to that all the time and we've seen evidence of it throughout the years. Unlike many homeless shelters the rescue mission is more than just a crash house for the drunk, the drugged, or the downtrodden. In addition to the physical necessities they provide for the rescue mission of Salt Lake offers men the opportunity to change the way they currently live their lives through their spiritual program. Once a client indicates they want to change their life, they meet with the Rescue Missions Director, Pat Hillaker. They are given their assigned duties, a bed in the dormitory, and three meals a day. Program members begin their day before the sun rises, preparing for the men who will come for the 6 a.m. breakfast. Along with those who have stayed overnight at the Rescue Mission, they will feed breakfast to approximately 150 people. Many of these meals will be fed to men who have been bussed over from other area homeless shelters. By 8 a.m. the kitchen is clean, clients are gone, and the men of the spiritual program meet for Bible study. They study together for one hour, dividing into two groups, those who are new to the program and the Bible, and those experienced men who delve deeper into the lessons they can find in Holy Scripture. The rescue mission is closed to clients from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. These men are encouraged to go out and find work and counsel that they will not be allowed in for the evening if they are drunk or drugged. The program members spend the remainder of their day working on their assigned chores and studying the Bible. At 5.30 p.m., the rescue mission opens its doors again to the homeless men of Salt Lake. Clients are required to show a state or federal ID as well as a tuberculosis card. The rescue mission can offer a warm bed to 50 men and bed assignments are given out on a first-come, first-served basis. A bed assignment is the treasure of knowing you will have a safe, warm place to sleep at night. When 7 p.m. comes around, the doors are shut and their evening spiritual services begin. Several different Christian churches of various denominations take turns delivering the messages for these nightly services. Clients are expected and required to attend this evening service in exchange for partaking of the dinner meal. It is at this spiritual service that clients can voice their desire to accept a life with Christ and join the Rescue Mission spiritual program. Dinner is at 8 p.m. It is prepared by members of the program and volunteers from local churches and communities who come to serve these men who find themselves needing what the Rescue Mission has to offer. At the close of dinner, those who are staying at the Rescue Mission retire to their bed assignments, and those without a bed go out in hopes of finding a safe, if not warm, place to stay the night. 
There are now and will continue to be thousands of families, teens, women and men living on the streets of this and many other cities. There are those who may never free themselves of their addictions or their despair. Then there are those who choose to change. There are people of society who will continue to turn their faces away from the empty eyes who reach out to them on the street. There are people who will discuss with disdain the nuisance and blight that they see the homeless among us to be. Then there are people like Pat Hillaker, Levi Roberts, Jack Fee, and many others who will reach out to their lost brethren, maybe because they've walked that road and want to share the peace they've found. Perhaps it's because simply they have compassion in their hearts, a desire to make the world a better place, one man at a time. This is the work of the men of the rescue mission of Salt Lake. Perfect. Uh, right now, uh, it's unusual, but I'm homeless and I'm staying in uh, one of the homeless shelters. What were the circumstances that uh, put you on the street? I was in between jobs and uh, my mom passed away. That was over 15 years ago. And so... Uh, You've been, you've been living on the street ever since? Been living on the streets and ever, ever since.